um, if you were going in again for the merging of the celebrity adults and teens, and I hope na everything will be good, and it's another experience to be, um, it's another experience, another learning that I'll, that I'll, that I'll go through, and I am so happy and very excited to learn a lot of things when I get back there. Sure. So, what would you say to people who are listening now? What would you say to them if they, you know, in the future they want to try this experience, you know, to try signing up for Big Brother or Big Boss or, you know, whichever country they're in? What sort of advice and information you would give them if, you know, to prepare them to go into a house? Very, it's very quite simple. I mean, if just be brave brave and the advice that I could really give you is that to stay true to your core, stay true to who you are, you should know your truth, you should know your core, and you should know your values. And I promise you that will keep you going there and that will keep you like fighting, fighting for fighting to be on the top. And never to forget na it's not bad to always start at the bottom. To say when you start at the bottom, it will be so satisfying to be on the top. To say you work your way up to the top, and you're bringing your core values there, your values, your core, your truth. And to be honest, I promise you guys, that's what I did there. And look, um, I and to be honest, then that. And that, you know, and that, when you take that advice, it's not hard. Then, like people with will get like drawn to you, and it's not hard to like face the challenges that they'll get you there if you just know your truth and know your core. Sure. That's Cause it. Because when, when you were when you were in the house, were some people? I read something on on the on the internet. I don't know who it is, but I read something about some of the housemates were giving you a bit of stick because you were the youngest contestant in the house. Was that right? Um, yes, yes, that it's right. But I don't see that as an, I, I don't see it as a bad thing. But instead, I, I make it as a motivation for me to work harder. Yeah, I was talking to last week to some uh, fans of some Big Boss contestants in India and... One of the contestants there was age shamed because she was she was uh, in her forties. So you know, I think we know when people start age shaming people, and you know, the thing is, you know, when you when you're in the when you're in the public eye, when you've been on TV or become a celebrity, you would get you know anybody who's in the public eye would get you know uh, hate comments or and that's one of the things what I wanted to ask you about. How do you handle negativity i know I, I read one of your messages earlier and it said that you just uh, if there's any people like with negative comments because we all need positivity in the world right now you just you know just smile back what advice would you give to people who you know who are on social media who receive negative comments or you know hateful comments what advice would you give the advice I could give is that, yeah, it's easier said than done, but just always ignore them. Because, it, like, ignoring them, they don't really matter, at, at least, or unless you feel guilty on what they say or what negative things that they say. But if you really know your truth, you know your values, and you know your core, it's Whatever people say to you, negative stuff they say to you, as long as you know that your truth, or as long as you know the truth, is that you won't get hurt. And that's what I feel right now. Even if people were like showering me with hate, it doesn't matter to me anymore because I know my truth and I know my core. And I'm so glad that I'm surrounded like with people who believes in me, um, people who were there with me since from the very beginning and told me that you're doing well and I am just so glad that I have this beautiful souls too in my life because because of them it encouraged me like to to voice out more to voice out just to spread positivity 
empathy in each and every one because the world is as you said earlier sir kevin the world is full of hate now and i just wanted like people to know that instead of spreading hatred or letting hatred falls foster in our lives why not share positivity kindness and love to everyone because if we really do spread kindness and love to everyone i mean the world wouldn't be like so chaotic as it, as it is right now and i still do believe that one day this world will be like peaceful and harmonious if we do spread love and kindness to everyone and i remember this story um in the bible where like there there is this bad person who throws a rock at the at this certain person but what that person did to that the, the bad person where the person who throws a rock is that he throws him with bread and that's kindness and you know what came what came to that good person he got blessed hundred times more and that's the most important thing that the impor more important thing that we have to like apply maybe i could we could apply here like the golden rule too um if do do not do things unto others what you don't want others to want to you so that's exactly. what i exactly no that, that's you know the, the, you've got three three a very young person you've got very good words words of wisdom which i you know really you know like and you know i guess you know what whatever we put out there will return back to us you know so if there's you know i always believe in uh, karmic laws laws of attraction so you know whatever you put whatever you manifestate out there it will come you know come back to you so if you're a negative person put negative comments and negative remarks or hateful comments that's just going to come back to you uh so no i just i just wanted to get your thoughts on that so thank you for sharing and also i just want to congratulate you for being one of the, the first international uh celebrity uh, contestants who've, who's come onto my space so i want to thank you for that i want to touch now on your music career so just tell people in the audience, people who are listening here from the UK and the US and other countries as well. Just tell us about your music career, how that started. Oh, it started um, my music career. Well, actually, I re I'll just tell my story where I really love to sing since I was three years old. And my mom is a singer. Um, she sings, but not like publicly and not in front of an audience but in a church and i think my music career really started in the church i became a worship leader in our church um, cfga burgos and i am so proud that i started there and first i only sing for god and i am happy now because i really wanted to pursue like my music career um in like internationally if god would like really bless me to be on the international stage singing in internationally internationally like in front of a lot of people and to share like his gospel to share it in his music i would be such such a happy person and i'll be so blessed i'm sorry if i'm quite ambitious because no, that's yeah. okay. No, I, I'm, I'm <laughs> sure. I'm sure it will happen. You believe in yourself. You, you know what you, you what you believe and will put. You know you put out there. You know I. You know I'll just tell you a little bit of background about me. I didn't ever think I could found a form of charity. I set up two charities. I made a film. I wrote a book. So whatever you believe in, do it. You know the world's your oyster. You know, if you if you don't, you know, if people don't believe in themselves, then they they will never get anywhere. But if you if you have that vision, if you have that dream, you hundred percent go for it. Yes, and I truly believe in that. Thank you, Sir Kevin. And um, yes, so it started in my church, and now um. 2000, I remember 2019, I pursued my singing career um, nationally 
here in the Philippines, so I joined the Idol Philippines. But uh, before I joined the Idol Philippines, I auditioned in a lot, a lot, a lot of like TV shows, TV like um, reality TV like contests. But I wasn't, I was, I wasn't able to like get to audition on TV, and it was my first um, break as a singer. Uh, and then, and then, then after that, um, the pandemic happened, and it was quite sad because I was almost there, but oh, it got cut off by the pandemic, and it really affected me so much because I've been dreaming, I've been dreaming this for my whole life, but um, I wasn't able to like get the chance because of the pandemic. So I was very 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 um heartbroken and one day i prayed i prayed because i feel like everything was gone i prayed and then i asked for a sign in my prayers to god if i should stay or i should go back to where to where um to shargao my home and to just um, continue being a simple girl, a simple girl from, who grew up in an island. And, but there's this one time he stopped me because somebody called me um, from uh, a management called me na, um, to stay. Stay here in Manila. So I stayed. I stayed for about two years. I was stuck for two years without... Um, doing anything without even recording a song, but when two thousand twenty come twenty came, and I get to record my first song, and it was keeps on coming back. It was actually a song written by Ati Asel, but um, and she's a really good songwriter. Um, she's um actually the former singer of uh Moonstar eighty eight, and this band was really really big here in the Philippines before and I am so happy that she's like one of the person who wrote my first song so there my music career started there and after that um, my song got released and I was so happy I jumped out of joy it got released by uh, by this a series where it became an OST an official theme song for a series and then after that, the next thing that happened is I get to record another song, and it's read. It's it was written by my best friend, um, one of my best friends, and she's Angela Ken. And now she's actually she's actually a songwriter um, who got like featured in the Times Square, where her her face, her song was put on a Times Square. I don't know what is this. Times Square something, I forgot it, but yeah. Times Square, then, New York. Yeah, Times Square, New York. So her face was there and her music was there and everybody was like listening to her. And that song was um, Don't Be Afraid and me, I get to sing it. Um, I get to sing it. I have a version where I'm with you with, with a fellow housemate and um, I get to sing it then solo, and I am so happy. And the next thing that I knew, um, another song was like offered to me. Um, and this is my very first, very first song, uh, theme song that I get to sing for a Teleseria. And a Teleseria is a very, a very like a sort of a series, but longer. It, it will take like a year or. Two, before that series or that or that um, teleseria will end, and I'm so happy na um, buo uh, written by Atitricia Denise. Um, a lot of people really love it, and they they have really like positive um, comments about how they love this song because the song really expresses about um, unconditional love, and even if like their loved ones has flaws, we may be imperfect, and or maybe has like mistakes or done mistakes in life but at the end of the day they choose to love that person no matter what so yeah it's a tv series pala. it's
is a TV series series where here in the Philippines we call it Teleseria. Um, so, and now, um, I have quite a surprise for everyone, but I don't know if I'm allowed to, to say it or to announce it here. But I hope that oh, everyone... you must, oh, you must tell us, uh, please tell us. Oh, I'm excited okay. now. No, it's only if you want to tell us, you can tell us, but. I bet we were all excited. Show us under the emoji if you want to know. Uh, I bet everybody's really excited, but no, it's up to you if you want to say. I'm sorry, but I'm not allowed to say it for now. But I promise you, I will be announcing it everywhere. Um, and I hope that you guys would love it. And I am so excited. And yeah, until now, I'm still doing like um, songs. And now I get to like write songs and hopefully my songs will be approved and i would get to like record it very soon well whatever this excitement is i can i can hear the excitement in your voice i just want to say many many congratulations whatever it is and i'm sure you'll be really happy with it i was on your youtube channel yesterday and i was looking at some of your videos and i love some of the acoustic songs you've sung uh, for example that you've got i know you've got westlife on there you've got some other other ones could you do how many people have you got in the room at the moment wow we've got 2600 people in the room right now could you give yeah. us could you give us a little song an acoustic i'd love i'd love to be i know you play play the instruments as well i love you if you've got your guitar Andy. if you could sing us an acoustic song just to raise the vibration. I know there's positive energy in the room. There's so many people who follow you and who adore you, and I would love if you could give us a song. Um, uh, sorry, I couldn't play my guitar right now, and I think I have to practice more, but I'm going to sing you one of my favorite songs. I was been looking for like karaoke of my song but i couldn't find it too so maybe i'm gonna sing um bruno mars talking to the moon because this is one of my favorite songs and i hope you guys would like it so i'm going to sing out
so much. Wow, 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 wow. I just want to say, wow, what an amazing voice you are. It just absolutely sent shivers down me. Goosebumps on my arms. What a remarkable voice you are. Thank you so, so much for sharing that with us. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. I've invited a few speakers to the stage. I'm going to bring a few speakers up, but I wanted to introduce you to one of my friends. It's Spooky the Mechanic. He has, uh, he'll tell you a little bit about himself and the song he's made, but he sent you a message yesterday. I think he wants to do some collaboration with you. So Spooky the Mic's over to you. Oh, so um, you can DM me with that and maybe we could like um, talk about it. So yeah. Yeah, so I, I, fo I followed you. I wasn't able to meet you again. Um, hi, Kevin. I hope you're doing well. Thank you for inviting me up. Um, Angie, I love your voice. I listened to the acoustic that you played on your pen tweet, and it was so beautiful. I love the power in your voice, and I think we can communicate to the world through music, and I wanted to, you know, reach out to you. So I sent out a tweet, and your fans, oh my god, your fans are lovely. They started reaching out and were telling me about how amazing it would be for us to co collaborate. So I just wanted to, you know, say, what's up? What can we do together? Oh, okay. So we have to DM about that. So it would okay. be exciting. Yeah, so okay. Spooky, Spooky made a song for Twitter Spaces. I don't know if you can share that to the nest, Spooky. Then, uh, oh, people, okay. People can see that. So Spooky did a uh, song for Twitter Spaces, which is uh, I listened to it. Uh, listened to it a few times now. It's really, really good. Uh, so yeah, and I guess you know, even with this now, when you know you you may get people contacting you asking if they can collaborate with you, because you just have such an amazing voice when I was listening to that song just it, you know it just said tingles down my body you, you know your voice is just it's just remarkable you, you remind me of a bit I, I don't know I don't know if you've come across people like uh over here in the UK we have people like Leona Lewis you know your voice reminds me similar when you were singing that to like Leona Lewis and some some other you know other people who are you know quite big here in the UK you know you could even possibly be the next Adele who knows and you know Kevin one thing I really loved about her voice is you know she feels passionate about what she's singing and it comes through like as you said I also felt like shivers down my spine I was like wow this is beautiful Thank you so much, Sir Kevin and Sir Spooky. Uh, how do I pronounce your name? Sorry. Yeah, it's, it's, it's Spooky the Maniac, no worry. You know, you can call me Spooky, it's fine. <laughs> so, so, Spooky has just shared, if you look on the top of the nest now, which is the tweet above our emoji icons, he's listened to, please listen to our new theme song by Speaking Mechanic. And if you click on that, uh, you can listen to that, which is the uh, is a, a great song and uh, thank you for sharing that spooky so you know you you do you just have such an amazing voice can i can i listen is that on you or youtube that song uh, the one you've just sung on me yeah is that song is that song the one you've just sang for us is that on your youtube uh -oh. Uh, I don't really remember what I post in my YouTube because it's been a while. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's been a while since I since I posted a cover song, and maybe I'll I'll be covering some songs, um, again on my YouTube, and maybe I'm gonna sing this there too. Um, it's actually uh, "Talking to the Moon" by Bruno Mars, and he's one of like uh, my influence, and I really love like his. Um, songs it's just really it really touches a lot of people whenever he sings to and he inspires me so if you could meet him what would you say to him if you could ever meet him what would you what would you say to him in person i don't think i could speak a word i might would you, faint. would you 
would you would you would you scream would you cry would you just would you just faint pass out <laughs> yeah i would faint <laughs> <laughs> uh right we're gonna bring some yeah um andy andy sorry i tried to send you a message but um you're not following me so it's not oh. showing yeah I'm, i'll follow you uh, thank you very much yeah so it's, you know this is what it's all about it's about connecting people bringing people together and that's what i do that's what i do you know i'm passionate about it i connect people bring people together and uh, you know it's just amazing the spaces right now we have we have quite a lot of people we have 2839 people right now in the space as we speak so welcome everybody let's get this trending on twitter at the plus button below the feather share it out tweet it out use the tags and let's get as many people in the space as we can to share the love, to share the yellow hearts, to share the positivity, because that's what we need right now in the world. Angie, I just want to come back to you and talk a little bit about Squad. Can you tell people about Squad and what it involves? Um, Squad, of what it involves, like you mean my squad? Yeah, yeah. Um, like... The Squad Plus, um, it's actually, is it like the vlogs? Yeah, the, yeah, the vlogs, yeah. Um, actually, it's a very, um, it's for teen, teenagers who will be like doing um, vlogs on a YouTube channel. And there, we don't really like show, we don't really like show that, oh, we're just doing a challenge, we're just doing a vlog, we're just singing. But there we get to show like people how we like, very really really like do value friendship and that's what the squad is all about it's all about friendship how we cherish our friendship and how we like support each other how we became like a support system for one another and it's really 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 it helped me to a lot like to step up and to like oh, i am such a shy person and i'm so glad um, um, that I get to, um, like, meet my friends there and who became my best friends. And I was really, really, I'm really proud to say that Sam Cruz is my best friend there. And Angela Ken, actually, she's part of the Squad Plus, too. And there are some, um, on some of my, like, squad mates who, like, all of us are best friends and I'm so glad and so blessed to have them because aside from like they're always there they're always there and they're not just in my best but they were there too at my lowest and yes the squad plus is all about um support system a family siblingships are there and how friends support friends how friends became siblings Sure, no, that sounds amazing. So I have a question for you. If you could perform anywhere in the world, which country would it be and what venue would you like to perform at? Oh my God, it would be in the US. Okay, and so, so which, which state and which venue? The Coachella. <laughs> ah, cool. Great. Well, you never know. You never know. It, it will. It could happen. You say it will happen. It will happen. It All the will positive. happen. It will, yeah, it, it will happen. So I'm going to bring a few people to the stage. So if they want to ask questions. So the first person I've got is Benny Whistler. Welcome. Hello, Mummy Brenny. Do you want to unmute your mic? Oh, hi, good morning. Oh, so, um, good evening to everyone. Hi. Hi, um, yeah, so I'm Remy. I'm one of the, um, I can say that I'm a fan of Angie. And we do support her like, oh my God, I'm so, actually I'm so overwhelmed because for all the support that she's getting now, oh my God, Angie, I'm so happy for you, my love. I love you. I love you, love. And Sir Kevin, thank you so much for giving the chance for Angie and uh, 
this is uh, actually this is so much for her and we are so happy we are so happy for her and uh, i would love to say that um, did you just continue whoever you are the way the way that we love you um just be who you are my love and that's it i love you that's it I love Oh, so oh, that's really nice. We should have the love art emojis, which I think they're coming soon to Twitter Spaces. I think it's the clapping hand to have the love art emojis. So, you know, uh, we have to just let the audience in the room at the moment. But yeah, no, that's great. Thank you for sharing that. So I've got uh, Fangirl Mom 3. Welcome. How are you doing? Hi, hi, everyone. Hi, can I call you Kevin? Uh, yeah, just call me Kevin. Not the sir off. I don't want to be called. I don't want to be called Sir Kevin. Just call me Kevin. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yes, no, it's okay. I, when, you, when people call me Sir Kevin, it sounds like I've got an official title. Yeah, like you've got uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not knighted. <laughs> so sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. So uh, I'm actually one of Andrew's uh, biggest fans. I would say uh, first time for me support any artist uh, actually so i'm quite surprised myself um but but before we, we talk about Ash, uh, kevin we're just curious about you because i actually uh came up your space last, last night and i think your topic was about ukraine crisis so i'm just a bit curious about you know what your interests are uh, uh, okay think, yeah so so yeah. basically my background which you can see from my bio i'm a charity founder I, oh God, what have I done? I've carried the Olympic torch, I've made a film, I've wrote a book, uh, uh, set up two charities, I've interviewed people like celebrities, like A-listers, like Sigourney Weaver, I've interviewed Her Majesty the Queen, I've done so much. It's, uh, I've had my own TV show, I've had my own radio station, so I just love connecting people, that's what I'm doing right now. So that's a little bit about me uh so i just i just like to connect people and uh, you know i was one of the first uh, beta testers with twitter spaces in december last year and since then i did a, a set up a community on twitter which is called twitter spaces communities which we have about 2300 members i'll post a link to the nest in a second but we have 2300 members and it's a community where people can learn from each other engage with one another share spaces to the community make new friends so it's a community for people who use twitter spaces so i hope that answers your question yes it's definitely very very impressive background actually twitter space i only discovered it to be honest uh because of uh Angie. i i never i was never a twitter person but because of this now i know a lot of things twitter space is one of them and i agree with you this type of platform you know collapses borders and they need to connect people but anyway i guess i just want to talk about why i became an avid fan of angie so i didn't really uh like her at first uh i i, I i'm not the type of person who watch tv a lot i just got curious and you know just uh so what people ppb but then uh there was this episode where you know there was this you know very controversial episode where she stood up for herself and that what really got me interested and then later on that made me you know watch her more and really i, I was really you know in awe of her personality she mentioned that one of the housemates well, actually, a lot of the housemates see her as childish, but I actually see the childlike personality, which is very unique. We have a lot of talented artists. We have a lot of beautiful actors and actresses. But what we love about Angie is her authenticity. She doesn't care about her looks. Uh, and she's really, I, I met her once in person. She's just genuinely sweet and kind. So I think I couldn't talk and up about Angie. That's how much me and a lot of her fans love her. And of course, not to mention her beautiful, angelic voice. We love you, Angie. This is your Tita Asel. I know it. It's you, Tita Asel. Oh, Tita Asel. Naaani talaga kita, Tita Asel. You look young. Yeah, I feel young because of you. I feel young when I'm around. Oh, I love you. We love you, Angie. Oh, thank you.
thank you for sharing that. So I'm going to bring Sunshine, April, Joy to the stage. Welcome. How are you doing? Do you want to unmute your mic? Uh, Sunshine, April, Joy. Ah, oh, okay. Let's go to Keelan. Keelan. Uh, at one farm, we met about the international and Eastern Ghost family. Um, I just want to tell you that I'm proud of you. Um, we're so happy for where you are now. And stay with your feet on the ground. We're always here for you to support you, no matter what. And we love you so much. And can you please sing that Don't Be Afraid, they hear you again so they can hear how beautiful your song is. Please, thank you. I will. Oh, thank you so much, Ange. And um, sorry, hi. There's no way to go, but have free, okay? And always pray for God. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm not sure where she's gone. Is she? Has Ange disappeared? She's disappeared. I don't know whether she's got disconnected. No, I am. Oh, my God. Hello? So I think uh, Angie, has Angie disappeared? I don't know whether she's lost connection. Maybe we'll get her back. Might be a, yeah, it might be a bug. Might be bug. Yeah, maybe we can get her back. She'll, she'll come back in a second and request the mic. If anybody does see her in the room, do let me know and I'll, I'll bring her up on the stage. Uh, I'll just send uh, her a message. But uh, I just want to go to uh, Biang. Welcome. Okay, we'll go to Don't Be Afraid. Welcome. Yes, hi. Good evening. Hi. It's here in the Philippines. Yes, um, this is um, Sashi from uh, Philippines, one of the <laughs> freelancer uh, supporter of the Salvation. Really, thank you so much for this. Um, oh my God, I'm just all happy for Angie Salvation because um, she's very humble, very unique person. Um, try like, but that's what um makes her unique. I just want to say I'm really, really proud of you, Angie Salvation. Maybe you can visit here in the Philippines and visit where she grew up, which is um Shargao. It's a very beautiful place, beautiful people. And uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you for this opportunity, Kevin. And oh, um, I've, 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 always, I've, I've always wanted to go to the Philippines. Uh, uh, I've always wanted to go maybe one day. What is the, what, what is the weather like there like right there now? Here in the UK, it's uh, miserable, cold, and very, very windy. We have a storm here right now. Oh, I understand. Maybe, maybe uh, so, uh, when um, everything's going to be okay and all right, you can visit here in the Philippines, especially when summer, this is a really uh, good um, weather you can visit here in the in the Philippines, especially in Shargao, because that's where um, Andrew Salvashman came from, Shargao. Great, great. Sounds an amazing place. Spooky, yes. do you... Sorry, go ahead. It is. No, it does sound amazing. Uh, I bet it's really warm there as well, not like here in the UK where it's cold and miserable most of the time. Spooky, do you want to uh, say anything before we close the room out today? Um, I'd like to say a very big thank you for, you know, connecting Angie to the rest of the world through this space. And, you know, it's been amazing. I've had a great time. As you said, she's very young, but she has very, very amazing.
amazing insights on life and she has very great nuggets that I have picked up on. A very talented singer. You know, I've loved every piece of information she has shared today. Um, I hope we can collaborate and, you know, spread the love across the world. The world. Um, can't wait for the next space. And um, it's always amazing to be in this space with you. So thank you for having me. So when you were when you were listening to her voice, how did you feel when she sang that song earlier? How, how did it make you feel emotionally? And you know, uh, how did how did, what was your perceptions when when she was singing? You know, it's also one of my favorite songs. It's one really very emotional song, and she made it her own. You know, I felt it like I feel the passion that she's singing with, you know, the same passion I heard when I heard her acoustic version, you know, I was like, you know, she feels what she's singing and it comes through. She's a lovely human being and it's, it, she's an even lovely singer. I think, you know, if I hear, I want to hear more of her music, like music that she's composed herself. I'm sure it will blow the world out. Like she's amazing. Honestly, she made me feel like greatness can, be achieved anywhere in the world, you know, and I, I am I'm very happy about that. That's the reason why I felt so happy to collaborate with her. Like, you know, she's given me hope to do more things for the world. So, yeah. No, thank you for that, Spooky. And uh, hopefully we can get her back maybe in the near future. I'm not sure whether she does a book. She, uh, she seems to have gone, but she, you know, she's been amazing. She's uh, her voice is just, you know, so harmonic, angelic, and you know, it certainly sent shivers down my spine, even goosebumps on my, on my arms. Me my, too. Me yeah, too. yeah. My 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 hairs on my, which I haven't got many hairs on my arms, but they were like sort of like raised. It was like, and not many singers can do that, you know. To me, I don't know whether that's the same with you, Speaky, but when I hear a particular voice, I get, I don't know what it is. It's like a. I don't know. I don't know if you get it or other people get it, or maybe I'm just different. I get like a, I don't know how to explain it. It's sort of like a, like a tingle all the way down the back of my spine. It's just yep, weird. Yep. You know get that. You get that as well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, the thing is, I've heard so many people sing this song, and it surprised me because, like, she sang it in a way that I've never heard before, and that is also the beauty of it. Her voice just shines through the music you know she made the song her own if like no somebody who has never heard the song heard this they would think she sang it herself yeah yeah definitely definitely so i just want to thank everybody for joining we've been on a, an hour today i'm back tomorrow same time speaking to uh well speaking about hollywood uh, speaking of, i think she's come back let me just see if i can bring her up uh she said she sent a request but I can't see it right now. Let me see. Maybe we can get her back next week and do another one. Uh, yeah, she just sent me a message. Her connection went. So maybe we can get her back next week and uh, do another one with her. But tomorrow I am back uh, talking all about Hollywood in India, talking about the new movie, which is an upcoming blockbuster in India which gets released on the 24th. The movie trailer was out last week. Going to be talking to lots of people again tomorrow. Thank you for all the speakers, the listeners, and thank you, Angie, as well, for joining us today. It's been an absolute pleasure to have you on stage to, you know, to sing. It's been, you know, it's made my day, certainly, you know, uh, to hear such positivity. Thank you all so much for joining don't forget to do share this out and uh, have a great wednesday wherever you are and most importantly stay safe everybody